Our state is one of the most beautiful and unique states in the USA. With diverse geographies, the historic Route 66, unforgettable restaurants, and some of the greatest people on the planet. We want to show you why traveling within the great state of Oklahoma is a great idea. So come join us for thousands of miles over the next year, from Broken Bow to Black Mesa. This is the Oklahoma Road Trip. From the Living Kitchen Farm and Dairy, we head up north towards Stillwater. On the way, we pulled over to check out this giant roadside blast from the past. And while we were there, we also took some time to catch up with an old friend. Jason! Hey, Lieutenant hey, Governor buddy. Pinnell, how are you, man? How are you, bud? Thanks for joining us. We found them. We found it. You this found is, them. I think this is Optimus Prime, it right? It is. It is Optimus Prime. And it, it, a good example of if you build it, they will come. Oh, hey, we came. This you is came. tourism, man. This is tourism. Dude, it's awesome. And, and I and I hear like Bumblebee or We do. And yeah. he's down there too. Stillwater's got two of these. That's unbelievable. Yeah, it's awesome. I you got people constantly pulling over on the side of the road doing yeah. just this. Well, what I was surprised I pulled up, it's like real metal. I yes. mean, it looks like it could have been in the movie. It is the real deal. <laughs> yeah. All right, so I am so excited about all the progress we've made so far on this Good. road trip. Good. From here, I guess we're gonna go see the Bumblebee. I think we should all get a little photo together yes, here with sure. our Lieutenant Governor. Selfie yes. Yeah. yeah. I've heard about these Transformers, but when I saw them, I was like, wow, that's way bigger than I was imagining. If you're a family that has kids especially, you should go see the Transformers. Very worth it. After taking a few pictures, our journey took us east into Stillwater and onto the beautiful campus of Oklahoma State University. We're on the patio of the Ranchers Club and Atherton Hotel. Uh, we're actually sitting right next to the Price Family Garden, a uh, edible garden that we use for the Ranchers Club. So tell me a little bit about the Ranchers Club. Uh, what you know, what kind of food can I expect? What kind of atmosphere? It's an event. You're gonna go in there and you may spend a couple hours and you're gonna enjoy yourself. You may have a glass of wine or a bottle of wine maybe. And then you're gonna have a nice steak, the best steak in town. And we think it's one of the best restaurants in the state, frankly. So you can come here and, and get it all. It just goes hand in hand with most of the great uh, venues here on campus. But we're we're also really close to some things. We give a shout out to Eskimo Joe's. You can walk to Joe's from here. Mm -hmm. You can walk to the Strip. The library lawn is beautiful. There's just lots of places that you can go and explore uh, around here. I was very impressed. The quality of food matched the aesthetic of the whole building. I walked through the hotel a little bit. I could feel that there was a lot of history there. Everything had a unique vibe to it. It's a great place to spend your time and I'm definitely going back there. From Stillwater, we went south down I-35 until we reached Edmond, arriving just in time for Herd on Herd, a popular event featuring local food, shopping, and live music that takes place every third Saturday of the month in Edmond. All right, so we just got to Edmond. We're gonna check out Herd on Herd and see what it's all about. All right, so I'm here with Matt outside of his food truck. Matt, tell us about Herd on Herd. Where are we? Here in downtown Edmond, Oklahoma, it, this is something that people look forward to. Uh, Herd and Herd's been going on a while. It's been getting bigger and bigger and bigger. And what's cool about it is they keep changing out the food trucks. Each time there's something new or something different, it's very cool as far as that aspect goes. But yeah, as you can see with the people behind me and what's going on, it's crowded. And this is good. This is what it's all about. Yeah, I think it started as a food truck festival, but now they've brought in all sorts of vendors, people with brick and mortars like us, and then other mobile retailers who don't have a brick and mortar yet, but this is a great test opportunity for those people. What's the atmosphere here like every month? I think fun is the best word. Fun is our favorite word, so wherever there's fun, that's where we try to be. If you live in Oklahoma, you have to check out Herd on Herd. It's every third Saturday. Just experience local. Local eats, local drinks. Even if you don't even live here, if you're traveling, if you see this, just come to Oklahoma. On today's road trip, we kicked off the day at GNM Body Shop in Stillwater, where we snapped some photos of their giant Transformer statues. And fun fact, these statues took over nine months to build and were welded entirely out of parts you'd find in an auto body shop. Next, we toured the Ranchers Club Steakhouse, the five-star restaurant located on the campus of Oklahoma State University. And the secret behind their amazing steaks? A team of OSU researchers who have even used their knowledge to discover a new cut of steak known as the Vegas Strip. After lunch, we traveled south to Edmond, where we joined the Herd on Herd. We were blown away by the unique, fun atmosphere and the incredible variety of local food trucks and vendors. This event is free to the public and takes place every third Saturday of the month from March to October. 
Next time on the Oklahoma Road Trip, we head south into the heart of Oklahoma City. Join us as we conquer the rapids at River Sports OKC. Then, we'll spend some quality time with our four-legged friends at the zoo. And finally, we'll wind down with an amazing dinner at the Jones Assembly. We'll see you then.